What you can see here is a holder for some wine glasses to be mounted underneath a shelf. And you can see that there is this super weird looking uh, tube that uh, goes in all three directions and uh, looks super organic. But how did I model that? Also, on my uh, cryo PC here, uh, on the model you can see that I modeled these uh, tubes uh, for where the water is going to flow. Uh, they uh, also kind of go all over the place. And if you're just used to the standard uh, 2D uh, sketches and then extruding stuff, how will you actually do that? And the answer to that is 3D sketches. Hey guys, David here and welcome to Make a Software. The weekly series in addition to my project videos where I show you one really cool feature or software that will greatly help you in your DIY projects. If we go ahead and have a look in here, this is the sketch that uh, this shape is created from. It is only half because I'm uh, just mirroring it, that way I can make sure that it is exactly mirrored. Uh, but you can see that this here is a three-dimensional sketch, it goes all three dimensions. It is a standard spline, as you might have on a 2D sketch. However, uh, instead of uh, just being on a plane, it goes up in the Z direction as well. If you click here on the points, you still have the same handles, but these handles also are moving in all three dimensions. Now, if you thought that controlling splines in two dimensions was a pain, then, well, uh, you're in for a treat in three dimensions. It is way more of a pain. You can't really very well just grab the corner and move it around, as most of our uh, computer screens, at least mine, is only two-dimensional. So if I move this around in two dimensions, uh, it does, the computer does not know uh, if I want to move it back or where exactly I want to move it, since I'm only giving two dimensions and it needs a three-dimensional input. So instead, what we need to do uh, is using the move command. If you don't know the shortcut already, it is M for the move command. Uh, you will need this a lot, so you will definitely remember the shortcut afterwards. And using the move command, and it's the same command you, you would use uh, to move around some bodies or uh, components. Uh, but here now uh, we get these little handles and that allows us to easily uh, move this and exactly know which direction we are moving it. Now you still want to uh, go around uh, all the different directions uh, to make sure that what you think you're doing is actually what you are doing, uh, but this should be a lot easier. You can also use this little uh, uh, flat spots to move it in two, two, two directions at the same time. Uh, which is a bit easier. But we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Let me show you how we can actually start a three-dimensional sketch. Here we have a new document and we just create a regular sketch in two dimensions first. This is just on an XY plane and then uh, here we could do uh, just our regular sketching. Just some lines uh, for whatever we, we might want to do. Now if we want to go ahead in three dimensions, here on this little uh, window where we can change line types and stuff, there's an option called 3D Sketch. Once we take that, it allows us to go into three dimensions. Now if I create another line, you will see that this uh, gizmo pops up. And if I start the line here, uh, I can either by looking down just create a regular uh, 2D line, or I can, let's say, uh, ho hover over this uh, blue arrow, which is the Z direction, and then if I go up here, I'm mo moving up in Z direction. Uh, then let's, I'm gonna just click and as you can see this uh, now moved up and uh, the plane for my regular 2D sketching uh, also moved up with it. And then I can uh, just uh, continue on sketching here and you'll see that this kind of gives me a red dotted line that means that I'm moving in the X direction. It's just kind of an indication of uh, where you're going to make it life a bit easier. Where it gets interesting is that you can still use a lot of the same constraints. You can still use D for dimension and uh, set the height here. Let's say we want this exactly 80. And you can still specify the angle in between these two. To finish off this simple example with lines, let's add some fillets, which also of course work in three dimensions. With that, now we have this kind of uh, very nice looking uh, three-dimensional uh, sketch line. What we can now do with this uh, 3D line that we just sketched is we can use either the sweep command or we can use the pipe command uh, to uh, create something in three dimensions. Now if you have a specific uh, shape you want to do, you will probably create a sketch perpendicular to the beginning and then uh, draw our specific shape and then use the sweep command. But for this example, let's just use the pipe and uh, we can select our path and then uh, Let's make it a bit thicker and as you can see uh, this now uh, creates the pipe that follows along these three dimensions. But just straight lines is fairly uh, easy to control and we'll, you will get the hang of it quite quickly. 
We're gonna hide this again and uh, move on to splines, as this is where it gets really fun. We will start off just by the origin. You will need to kind of uh, have a point where you uh, are starting off uh, just to anchor it somewhere. And then uh, let's start off uh, just going here and then there and then maybe up with splines. Uh, there is not really any point in trying to be very exact on the first go around as it is really kind of impossible uh, to control exactly where it is going. Instead, after we have done that, uh, we see that uh, these points here, the first few are actually uh, still on the ground plane. We want to move those up. So we're going to use the move command as I've mentioned before and then we can uh, move that up a bit. If you want to move two points together, you can of course use shift to select both of them and then use uh, the move command and uh, move an entire piece of your uh, sketch like that. One quick tip is that if you have these handles and you want to constrain it to one of the uh, three major axes, the horizontal vertical uh, command will do that. So if I hit this here, it will just pop to the one that it is closest to. And now uh, these handles here uh, just uh, go into the Z direction. This might be really useful if you have like a starting point here and you want this to go uh, start off tangential uh, to the X axis. You can just select it and hit the horizontal vertical uh, constraint and that will do it. Now you can also, uh, once again, just drag and drop since it, you can only move it in uh, one dimension. It is very easy to do that with drag and drop as well. To finish off, uh, let's create a sketch that we wanna uh, sweep along this path. Uh, I'm gonna make it here in the XY plane. And once you do not wanna create a 3D sketch anymore, make sure to untick this. It just uh, gets a lot less confusing and you don't accidentally uh, create something uh, that is three dimensional. So let's say for whatever reason we want to uh, make this funny looking shape, finish the sketch, and then uh, we can use here the sweep command, select our profile, select our path, and make sure that our bodies are actually shown. We want to uh, create a new body here. Let's just hide this one for now. And as you can see, this funny looking shape is now sweeping along this path. So if you want to create really impressive 3D models that uh, look like they are a lot more complicated to make than they actually are, so a shape like that uh, will impress anyone that is new, new to 3D modeling. If you liked this video and found it useful, make sure to like it, also share it with your friends, uh, and if you want to see more Baker Software videos, make sure to subscribe. With that said, thanks for watching and see you guys next week.